Anyone else starting out this video with a coffee? <laughs> Cheers! I need caffeine because I'm going to crash. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome in general. If you're new, leave a comment down below. Tell me some things about yourself. Today I'm excited to try out something a little bit different and I'm calling it Viral Kitchen. And basically what that means is I'm gonna find a viral recipe, something that's been going around that everyone has been really excited about and I'm gonna test it. And not only am I gonna test it, but I'm gonna try to improve it. And I thought this would be so much fun because I love testing out new recipes. I love playing around with different trends that are going around. And this one that we're doing today seemed fitting because that's exactly what I feel like eating right now. My bun is it. She is a different thing right now. That is a whole other human right up there. I'm gonna call her Regina. She is living her life. And if you guys have been watching my makeup channel for a while, and for those of you that didn't know, I do have a makeup channel. That's actually how I started on YouTube. I do a series over there called Buy or Buy, where I rate a particular makeup brand and all their different products on a emoji scale. And so I thought it would be fun to incorporate an emoji scale here. So I'll rank each of the recipes, the original versus the ones that I have adjusted to try and better. Do they have a pancake emoji? Every time I think of emojis, I feel like I know them. And then when I actually think if it exists or not, I question myself. Oh, yeah, yeah, stack of pancakes. Yeah, of course. Like, why did I think that didn't exist? And so today I'm going to be ranking the recipes on an emoji scale of pancakes. So as an example, five pancakes out of five, that would be like, you know, like commercials for pancakes. You know, they have that thick, fluffy stack of pancakes with like a big dollop of butter and like oozing maple syrup. I'm like salivating right now. Versus one pancake out of five. That's, um, wow, is there such thing as a bad pancake? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had a pancake that's a, a one out of five. Pancakes just like as a category always start at three. In, in my personal view. Like you'd really have to mess it up. You'd have to pull a whole like Friends episode with the trifle, <laughs> like put like, I don't know, meat in there or something. So I'm excited. I think this is gonna be fun. So if you have any recipes or viral things that you've seen floating around the internet that you want me to do next, leave them down below. And let's just get started with the classic, the pancake cereal as it stands. Basically what I've seen on TikTok is like this big bowl of like microscopic little pancakes the size of Cheerios and like a giant bowl of them and then people pour milk in, drizzle with maple syrup. Some people stick a slab of butter in there too because why not? And then people eat it like cereal. And I wanna do it the right way, making them as small as I possibly can without immediately burning them um, because otherwise you're just making tiny like uh, dollar pancakes. Is that what they're called where you are? I don't know, mini pancakes? And I don't want to make mini pancakes because that belongs in a plate, not in a bowl with milk. And also, I think it'd be fun if I try and improve on the whole like maple syrup infusion in the different recipes too. So we're gonna start out with the batter, which I'm gonna be honest, I am just <laughs> taking some Bisquick. This is my Bisquick. It is in an OXO container for freshness. So we're just going to make the recipe as it calls for. So I have all the instructions taped on the side like a crazy person. So now what we're gonna do to get those like itty bitty little pancakes. I'm gonna take one of these squeeze containers and I'm going to put the batter into here as a way of sort of having more control over how much batter is coming out. Here we go. Please work. Oh, it's, it's working. Okay, good. Hooray. Just very slowly. Get in there. So I'm heating up the stove right now where I'm going to be placing all of the batter and then I'm going to spread some oil and butter on. Okay, lid on, over to the stove. Christopher, wait. You know how you always tell me I don't flip enough pancakes every day. Today's your day. To meet my quota? <laughs> yes, exactly. We are live now. Pancake vlogging. So for reference, we want them like this big. Five times that size. <laughs> no, no, Christopher. Not dollar size. It's like a reflection. It looks like a little pool. Wow. Start with these and see how they flip. I have a flipper. A little mini one. A little Appreciate offset it. spatula. If you zoom in really close, they'll look like normal size pancakes. <laughs> Let's try. That is a giant pan then. Like They look like little pillows. <gasps> you know what they look like? They look like um, uncolored Smarties. Is that a thing? Well, like it looks like the white coating on this. You, did you never 
take all the color off of a Smarty or an M&M? No, these first ones will take a long time and then it'll be like a quick flip. This is not a great tool. Hmm. I just need a second one of these. Hmm. Yeah. Let me investigate. Found a cookie flipper. You're welcome. That will do. <gasps> Look at them. Do the little babies. Look at it. For size reference. These are like perfection, Christopher. Perfection. Oh my gosh, I love them. So what's the technique, Christopher? Is it one at a time at flip? Or? I started out doing one at a time and then very quickly got frustrated with that. So I just do a big flip. And, and hope then, for the best. And then hope that I get most of them on that flip and then flip the ones that didn't flip. Well, they're looking great. Love this for me. I was worried that some would burn while I'm flipping the others, but it's not actually working out that way. They're cooking pretty slowly. Okay, we have mini pancakes now. Can't believe I got out of making all of those. But like, look how small, like little they are. They're so cute. Okay, Christopher, do you want to taste test some pancakes? Oh, are there pancakes there? <laughs> I don't. I don't know how they were. Here. I made all of them myself. Well, that's very nice of you. So I have pancakes in two separate bowls because mm -hmm. one, just gonna add maple syrup to it, as per usual. Well, it's a lot of maple syrup. It's okay, it's still gonna be, be good. Right. And then this one has milk in it, mm -hmm. like normal mm -hmm. cereal, yeah. but they also put maple syrup in it. So I'm gonna do that. This is so weird. This does look weird. It looks so weird. And cheers. Ew. That's disgusting. Why would you do that? <laughs> They're just soggy bread, guys. I'm baffled by how bad that tastes. That tastes way worse than you could possibly imagine. I think you're exaggerating a little bit. When you think about it, mini pancakes in a bowl with milk and maple syrup. There's only so bad that that can be. It's worse. Okay, you know my emoji rating system? Mm -hmm. I was doing pancakes rating. And I said, you can't go lower than a three in pancakes. It's like pancakes are delicious. Like really, how bad can they get? So you're saying one. Maybe half a pancake? Oh. Like I guess if you like put it in a blender and liquefied it and made like a pancake milkshake, that might be worse. That might? Would, that would be bad. No. Nope, get it out of here. Okay, this is regular pancakes. I mean, this is just gonna be, this is just gonna be pancakes. And that's like two hours of my life. <laughs> They're cute though, look at them. They're so pretty. Christopher, you did a really good job with these. It's a lot worse than a pancake. They just, they lack some pizzazz. I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't understand how making them smaller made them so much worse in both cases. The milk, I get it, like soggy, that's gross, but that's a lot worse. So now we have to make them better. Shouldn't be hard. It, <laughs> we have a low bar to hit here. This, one of the reasons it's so terrible is because it's soggy. Mm. We knew it'd be soggy and yet, here we are. So one of the ways you can make it a little bit crispier, perhaps, potentially deep frying them. So we're going to like, maybe we'll just like squeeze them out onto a tray mm -hmm. and then put it in the freezer. Yeah, and then deep fry them. And then too. deep fry them. I wanna get the maple syrup flavor in there. Cause I feel like, like if I just did batter, then it's just like, it's like pancake batter, but you're not getting the pancake experience. So do we put it in like the batter? Like, like put maple syrup into the batter like before I make it or something? I'd be a little bit worried about burning the sugar in the syrup. Oh, okay. like a glaze on top Ooh, after. yes, yes, yes. Oh, that would be good. Almost like a donut. It probably would come out a bit like a be donut. Like a yeah. donut, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I can get on board for that. Yeah. Okay, so we, okay, so we need to get the batter on like a, this is, this is a tray. <laughs> we, have to, we have to get the batter <laughs> in this the tray, much batter. you know? All right, guys, we're back. It is 9.30 p.m. Days, they just whoosh. So the mini pancakes are currently in the freezer still. We will pull those out shortly. I have oil on the stove, which I cleaned. And then I also have another tray with some pancakes from earlier that we didn't end up using. And I am going to attempt to dehydrate them. Channeling my inner Claire Sappets right now. 
with my dehydrator. And I think actually for the dehydrated ones, I think I want to do another batch because I want to infuse the maple syrup into the batter. So you still get that like maple syrupness to it. I don't know, I, I think that'll be good, but we'll, we'll try both batches. So I'm going to see how hot this oil is. Not quite there yet. We'll go and get the frozen pancakes and just see if this works. We'll do like a test batch. They look like little dipping dots. We're gonna try a test batch, which is like a couple of them and just see how they fry and how long. Oh, they like stick to the spider, pretty good. They're puffing up so much. They yeah. look like little ghosties. They're not pancakes. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You guys need to see this. You know what they look like? They look like... Corn pops. Well, this one does. Oh yeah, you're right. It does look like a corn pop. I was gonna say the little mushroom guy in Mario. Toad? <laughs> look, look at this guy. Mm. Tell me that's not Toad. Did you just eat one? Christopher, <laughs> I, mean, I haven't even had a chance to try it yet. Was it, was it good? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, I need to try this. They're puffy, like they're fluffy mm. on the side. And I like the crispiness on the outside. It tastes kind of donutty, but with like a pancake twist. Let's make a glaze. Let's do like a maple syrup glaze yeah, with I this. Agree. Cause I want, I want to taste test that. I feel like that would be really good. And while Chris is doing this batch, I'm going to put these guys on here for dehydration. So I have some of the leftover batter here, a little maple syrup, and I'm just going to pour some in. And then try and make the little <laughs> pancake dots for the dehydrator that have maple syrup infused into it. Okay, we're having trouble because these keep melting. You gotta keep these out. Put these into the freezer. And then over here for these guys, I've been doing just like a little, like a little glaze and I'm just testing how sweet I want it. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, that one looks like an elephant. All right, Christopher, you ready? Put milk on more pancakes. So weird. It's so weird. Okay, I didn't get all of them though. I just put a little bit. This one has a better chance, I think, of not getting soggy. Cheers. Cheers. Still crunchy. Mm-hmm. Miles better than the first one. Mm-hmm. Not a very good cereal. No. Yeah. Like, step up for sure, yeah. and yet, Really not that great. I'm a little disappointed in you, TikTok. And in fairness, this is our invention, not TikTok. That's true, but theirs is worst. Mm -hmm. These by themselves, it's pancake donuts. New trend. They're really good. That is good, actually. They're so good. Don't put milk on them and don't call them cereal, but that's tasty. Mm -hmm. Fry some mini pancake batter dots. Spot on, definitely would recommend. These are delicious. Life hack. Life hack. What would you rate this on a scale of five? Five being the best pancakes you've ever had and oh. one being the TikTok ones. Yeah, like those are a solid four out of five. They're not really pancakes. I wouldn't, put, I wouldn't put them up against pancakes. I wouldn't eat that for breakfast. No. I it... shouldn't eat pancakes for breakfast. <laughs> I think these are, for me... Five out of five? No. Oh. That's cookies. No, please, yeah, please. I want it to be different, but honestly a four. What's missing for me here is that um, essence of butter, like that yeah. butteriness yeah. of a pancake. Yeah. And I'm sure it would be different if it was like a homemade batter. What these have going for them, these are the pancakes that I love is the crispy lacy edge with the doughy sort of, not doughy, so but the fluffy. the fluffy interior. That's a snack right there. Absolutely. Very maybe, good. Maybe brunch? Well, where would you serve those? What Ooh, would you have? A very classy brunch place would have those instead of bread on the table. That's such a good idea. Ooh, what if it was like, you had a bowl of these, like dip and dots, mm -hmm. and then around it, 
you have different toppings and it's like you build your own Ooh. pancake sundae yeah. thing. A so bit down. Of sliced macerated strawberries, yes. a little bit of whipped cream. Oh, yeah. that's it. That's where the money's at. I'm excited about the dehydrated ones, yeah. um, but those will make, need overnight. I think those have the best chance of being a good cereal. Like yeah. they're gonna stay in the pancake shape mm -hmm. and they might get crispy and crunchy. But I don't think they have a chance of being better than these, like just better as a food. Now we're gonna have to stack it up against like cinnamon toast crunch or something like that, which is only good for one bowl, if I'm honest. I like can't have more than that. Two bites really. What if instead of a cereal, you just had cinnamon and sugar on toast? Has anyone tried that? <laughs> Christopher! Christopher? Yeah. Did you ever have um, cinnamon and sugar toast growing up? Cinnamon and sugar toast? Yeah. Do you not know what that is? I had cinnamon toast crunch. Okay, that's, that's not the same. Is that what that's based on? Is that a thing? You get in so much trouble. So much trouble. I call it cinnamon <laughs> sugar toast. It's something I invented. <laughs> but enough of you. Okay, guys. Next day. So Chris is taking them out of the dehydrator. Oh, they're hard. Oh, I'm excited. This may actually work. I think it will. Should we try one without milk first? Yeah. Boop. It was very crunchy. Yeah, more solid than I thought. Mm hmm What about this one? It tastes like a Cheerio. <laughs> so I should have added way more. Maple syrup. We could try adding some maple syrup to the cereal once it's poured. Okay. Like like a sweet milk situation. Mm. All right. Let's try. This is what it looks like up close, guys. Like it looks like little baby pancakes, but they're much harder. Ooh. Are you trying this before maple syrup? Yeah. It's very bland. It is, but that's, it still has a cereal kind of taste to it. I mean, that's, that's the closest percent. we've gotten. That tastes like a cereal, just a very bland, mm. dry cereal and <laughs> not healthy for you. I'm getting pancake from that. Like, I feel like it needs to pre dehydration. It needs to taste like a, like a really intense pancake flavor, like butter, maple syrup, like super intense so that when it's dried down and in cereal form, packs a punch. You know, I, I'm going to disagree. I think I think it does the job. Like, I, I think you're right. I think it could do that. Mm -hmm. But I think this is a pancake cereal. It is dried down like a cereal. That I am very excited about. I think we nailed it. Good for us. Mm. The maple syrup, though, makes all the difference there. I don't think the glaze helped. I don't think infusing it worked. But I think that just drizzling some maple syrup in like TikTok did, works. Mm -hmm. So how would you order it? Most like cereal or in terms of taste? Because those to me are two different things. How much you liked it? Mm. Okay, so fried is first, but that it didn't feel cereal-like, but it was closer to cereal than the original. Mm -hmm. But that to me tasted the best. It had that crisp outside. It had the really fluffy interior texture. This to me is, it's just, a hair dry, it's a hair blander, but I do like it with the maple syrup yeah. milk. I yeah. think that's delicious. And the original, just like, it's just bad. It's just bad, I'm just gonna call it. This was my favorite, I think. Yeah? Yeah, I liked this more than I liked the deep fried. Oh, interesting. And cake cereal, it is exactly that to me. It is. Once the maple syrup was in. I'm impressed. Good for us. Yep. Go Nailed team. It. Nailed it. <laughs> so yeah, let us know in the comments what other viral-esque, um, foods we should we should try in our viral kitchen and we'll try and like make it better make a different version kind of experiment and uh yeah leave a comment down below i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you all in the next video love you all Mwah.